Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be checking out the armor for the Souls of Heroes, for the Hunter specifically. I not only got all the Majestic armor, but I also have the glows for them as well, and the glows for the Eververse if you're interested in getting that. But real quick, if you guys like this video, if you guys like the content that I'm pushing out, please uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe. It really does help the channel. If you guys can check out my streams in Twitch, that'd be awesome as well. I have all the information in the description below. Other than that, let's get on to the video. So, first and foremost, uh, I think this armor looks pretty cool. Um, not, I really don't have anything negative to say about the armor aside from like up here. I think like up here is like the only thing that I can really like poke at. Like I don't particularly like it. I understand why they did it because once you see the glow, you see like all oh, light looks cool. But at the same time, I'm just not like the biggest fan of it personally um that that's really it the cloak is like the only thing i have a big issue with oh my girlfriend did point out the other day this floop here and immediately i was like you're right that looks super gross and now i don't know if i i appreciate that she told me that or not because yeah it's it's connected to the legs so unfortunately if you're like oh well i mean whatever like it doesn't bother me that much well again to be to be to be fair it's connected strictly to the legs so that's annoying it's gonna be hard to match that specifically with another chess piece when it's so close to it i would have much preferred if this floop here would have been connected to the chess piece that would have made a lot more sense but other than that i mean i think the arm looks pretty cool the asymmetrical look looks pretty cool on this one I'm not usually a big fan of it, but this, in this case, it looks pretty cool. Hel Helmet is pretty dope as well. I haven't actually seen the back of it, so let's actually check that out before I say it's, like, really, really good. And, yeah, I actually think this helmet is super cool without even the hood, bro. Wow, that looks really cool. And... The chess piece is probably like the most boring piece from like all of it, if I'm being quite honest. Not only that, but it, this actually does shader really well. Like, at least I think so. I think it all shaders so well. Thankfully, it's following the trend that everything can be shadered, which is great. I love this. I'm, I'm a big fan of that. I think that looks super cool as well. Like... I think they nailed it out of the park with this armor, shader-wise. Not only that, I do think the armor looks super dope. Like, all things aside, like, the hood having this weird crest up here, the floop down here. Um, not gonna lie, this hole down here, I'm, I'm not a big fan of that when they do that for hunters. And, uh... I want to say, like, the hunter insignia I'm not, like, the biggest fan of, although it, it is super cool. It, Either way, like, I think the armor for the Hunters is really cool, and I am excited to wear it with other things. The only unfortunate thing is that I would have really appreciated if they had given us the the non-glow armor for, like, for free. Because it's not free, as you guys can see. So let's check out the actual white glow, which... Oh, man, I don't know if I like it or not. Um, so... This is the white glow. I think it looks super cool as well. Um, has the same kind of cool thing as it shaders really well. The only unfortunate thing is that, like, let's say, for example, you really, you really like this, but you also like the color of the actual, like, trimming. You lose that with the glows. Unfortunately, like, you really do lose that. So if you're like, oh, I really like the the, the trim of this with, with this shader, then you might be losing it. Like this one, for example, the trim is actually super red. As you guys can see right here, uh, the glow will like go in and out. You can you can see the red coming out. That's like the only unfortunate thing is the fact that you do lose a lot of real estate when it comes to color uh, because it's just all white with like hints of red sometimes. So I do understand if people don't like that. It is very bright though. Like it's super bright. Like, even this, I'm wearing black and it's still super bright. I, again, I don't know how I feel about it. I think I I think I like the other one a lot more, the one from last year, only because it wasn't as bright. Like, this is super bright, but let's check out the actual uh, Eververse armor, which, again, like, it's cool. Like, I have no issue with it, personally. 
I just kind of like, uh, I'm like, honestly, like, whatever's about it. The only reason I got it is because, like, I, I'd rather have it and, like, be like, ah, I have it when if I ever, if I ever want to use it because I know myself, I know, like, the moment I don't get it and then I can never get it again is going to be the moment that I want to wear it. So I'd rather just get it and just be annoyed by it. Like, this is the shader. It's literally the white glow, but with red. Uh, the class is also this purple. What is it? Purple. Mm. Actually, I'll, I'll just show you guys real quick. I I don't hate this. Like, just real quick. Like, I don't hate this. Um, I definitely think 6,000 brightness is a lot for what is essentially just different glow colors. And Stasis is probably the coolest one. But again, like, I feel like 6,000 brightness for just the ability to change the color of the glow is kind of ridiculous with like the this one being the best one because it actually does change the armor in a real way like at least a little bit of it as you guys can see like the stasis power here is all like slow and whatnot i think the stasis one is like, probably the best showcase of it i think it looks super cool but is it worth six thousand bright dust i guess that's up to you the only reason i got it is so we i can showcase it to you guys but um if i was in covering destiny 2 like it's my job i probably would not get the glow just because i i know i would be happier with the white glow i'd like i would i would settle for the white glow because honestly this is just kind of disappointing not gonna lie um it's it's literally just with the white glow but with extra steps that's really it so let me know your thoughts in the comments below i am really happy that i'm pretty much done with everything because like i said in the guide video if you guys don't know i made a guide for for this uh activity or event more more to say so i did make the guide for it i'll have it in the in a pinned comment on the comments below but yeah let me know your thoughts in the comments below i am just honestly i'm just extremely happy that it actually shaders really well if it didn't shader really well i would probably be really disappointed because that's like a really big importance for me it, like i just wanted to have a good glow like or a good shader like that's really a lot of my my issues with a lot of armor in destiny 2 is the fact that it just does not shader well and thankfully this one shaders really well like I think the basic bitch uh, shader for this looks super cool. I think this looks cool. I think this looks super cool. There's just so many things you can choose from. Like, I think this is cool. I think this is super dope. Uh, yeah, if we if you guys want to go down like the shaders, bro. Oh my god, there's so many good shaders with this armor set. It kills me. Like, this looks super cool. And I'm not a big fan of orange. Like, eh, I'm okay with orange. I think that looks super cool. I was wearing that for a while. This is super dope. This is super dope. I love the green. Uh, again, super dope as well. This one's like, okay. I, I kind of wish, uh, I don't know. I feel like it could have looked better, but yeah, this armor set is so worth it in my opinion. I think it's just that good. Uh, obviously there's gonna be people who are like, no, it's not worth it. That's definitely fair but it just it's it's so hard to say that when you see like the fact that it, sh it shaders this well because again you don't see a lot of shaders that shader really well you'll have like moments where like the colors like that doesn't that's not that doesn't match that you know like this looks super cool so let me know in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media i'll link in the description below i thank you all for coming up to this point don't forget to like comment subscribe it really does help the channel um i will have a schedule up for my stream probably by the end of next week that way you guys can actually see like when i'm up and when i'm not but thank you guys i appreciate all the support and i will see you guys later